to Moon Knight Farmhouse. I'm Leanne and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And today we are participating in Pumpkin Palooza hosted by Prepper Prepery. I'm so excited about this one. We are going to make pumpkin fudge with white chocolate and pecans. Do I need to say anything more? And in Pumpkin Palooza, there's going to be a whole bunch of channels dropping their favorite pumpkin recipe today. And this is going to be an open collaboration. So if you want to participate, just tag Prepper Potpourri and do the hashtag Pumpkin Palooza and she'll add you to the playlist. So let's get on with making pumpkin fudge. For this recipe for pumpkin fudge, you'll need three fourths of a cup of butter melted, three cups of sugar, one half cup of pumpkin puree, a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, two thirds of a cup of half and half, two tablespoons of corn syrup, seven ounces of marshmallow cream, a teaspoon of vanilla, 12 ounces of white chocolate chips. I'm using milling wafer chips because I have those on hand and I can never find actual white chocolate chips at the grocery store. What they call white baking chips do not have chocolate in them, so I don't buy those. Then you're gonna need a cup of pecans, toasted and chopped. All right, let's get this show on the road. And equipment, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a candy thermometer, and you're gonna need a three and a half quart pot that has a heavy bottom, and a nine inch cake pan that's either stainless steel or glass and I'm using parchment paper plus wax paper on top and what I do with the corners is I miter them maybe it's because I'm a quilter I don't know but I, I make slits on the sides and make box ends first here. thing we're going to do is melt our butter before we add anything else and I have ruined a microwave by putting whole sticks of butter into the microwave instead of slicing it first. And yes, my microwave has a softening butter, butter button, but I left the stick of butter whole. I suggest cutting it into slices if you want to soften your butter in the microwave. Our, our butter is melted, so we're going to add the sugar to that. We're gonna add our half and half and scrape that out of the bowl because we don't wanna lose that goodness in there. We're gonna add our pumpkin puree from Homegrown Pumpkin. And two tablespoons of corn syrup. And I just ran out of Pam or I would have sprayed it. Into the spoon first. I just came from the grocery store too. <laughs> but I had everything for this on my shelf, ready to go. And this is the last of the corn syrup I had from my bake sale last week. And I was busy. Busy is an understatement. And if you're local, thanks for supporting my bake sale if you came or another time that because I know there's some subscribers that come to my bake sales. And we're gonna put this on medium high heat and we're gonna bring it to 234 degrees. I found it very helpful to use a silicone whisk. And one of my neighbors who I have the bake sale with, she is known for her fudge and she gave me this recipe. So I know this has to be good. Especially with the white chocolate. I love white chocolate over any other chocolate. Probably because of the fat content. And we're going to just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. We're going to keep stirring. And it's a good idea to have everything ready to go before we start. So I have even the measuring spoons ready. So for when this gets up to temperature, 
we'll be ready to rock and roll. I'm going to put my monitor in here. I don't think it likes my side of my pot. Excuse my reach. And it might take about 15 minutes. So I have that timer set to eyeball it. I have the stove setting at a medium high heat which is a six for me. All right, we have achieved a rolling boil and we are still at 220. So if we were making jam, we would be set, but we're not, we're making fudge. Now my candy food monitor, it does have a marking for fudge. The hardest part is just standing here and stirring it for about 15 minutes. I'm starting to think this monitor does not work because it's been at 220 forever. So we'll have faith, faith over fear, that's what I like to say. Right, we're gonna quickly move to the next step. Since our ingredients are at 234, we wanna quickly add the white chocolate and the marshmallow fluff. And our pie spice. And our nuts. And vanilla. Vanilla should always go last in the fudge. Maybe I should switch to a heavy duty spoon. And since I cut up those chips, they melted very quickly. Now you don't need to add the nuts if you have People that don't like nuts or are allergic to nuts, that's optional. But we're nutty folks. All right, that's definitely well combined. I wish you guys could smell it already. Oh, it smells divine. All right, since it's well incorporated, we'll bring you over this pan. And we're gonna pour it in. You can also pour this into nut cups, papers. And I think my pan was too small. Because that looks pretty big. And we're gonna let it sit for two hours. Then we might come back and do a taste test for ya. All right, the fudge has been sitting out for almost four hours. So I think it's ready to cut. And we'll just peel back the wax paper and the parchment paper. And we want very small pieces.
All right, look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it? Here's your piece. Oh, I can't reach through the camera. Let's get the real taste tester to try it. What are you doing? Here, would you like a piece of fudge? <laughs> It is pumpkin with white chocolate and pecans fudge. That's pretty good. You want another piece? Yeah. So what's it taste like? Pumpkin, pecans, or sugar? So that's your fourth piece. Something like that. Why do you do that? A half a piece. Mm -hmm. Thanks so very much for watching. If you're loving the content of this video, may I suggest you watching this next? Take care and God bless.